Welcome to my channel. If you and I are meeting for the first time in, on my channel, I share how I overcame the tragedy of losing both of my legs and my left arm and restore my life with God's help. And on my channel, I share the journey of faith, of life with living faith, and also some self-management uh, tools that empowered me personally and I share with you that would empower you to overcome and be strong, be unstoppable in your journey. And today I'm very inspired by the testimony that I experienced just yesterday. This testimony shows how loving our Heavenly Father is, that He fulfills your desires. He does. And I did not even have to pray about it. I did not ask him. Um, he just did. And it's not the first time I experienced that. And I will share that with you to inspire you and to encourage you. If you feel like, God, where are you? Don't you see my situation? He does. But sometimes he does not fulfill our desires because he knows that those desires will lead us to destruction. Sometimes the Lord does not answer our prayers because he knows what is better for us. And sometimes the Lord answers in his own timing. We cannot put the time frame to God or conditions. The Lord is almighty right and he's the creator and he's a loving creator and he knows exactly what you need and when you need it oh i have so many testimonies about it but today i want to share uh, so this testimony that yesterday my sister my friend um angelica and i we went to uh, some store and in that store my eye was caught by some uh, like jeans jacket that had very interesting color, not color that I normally like, but it was quite interesting between blue and grayish, kind of. And Angelica also, she she caught she caught that jacket too. So we both came up and we took it to look at it, and it had uh, my size and one one other very small excess, and that was it. Like there were two jackets, and I look at it and. It's quite attractive and I like interesting color. Uh, but then we look at the price like, mm, it's not worth it. You know how sometimes we see clo clo clothing that it's attractive, it's nice, but it's just not worth that money. So, uh, you know, like whatever, I, I have enough clothing. I'm, I'm not gonna die if I will not have it. But in my heart, I really, I really wanted to have that kind of a jacket, but okay, it's just not worth it. Okay, let's just move on. And Angelica says, you know what? We still have some time until some appointment. Uh, let's just go to another store. So I said, okay, let's go. And we go to that store. And uh, then at some point we walk around. At some point Angelica brings on a hanger a jeans jacket. And my eyes even lit up because that is exactly the color I always wanted to have. It's that uh, blue, blue sky uh, color, light color. And I look at the jacket it's like I immediately fall in love with it. And it's my it's my size, and the price is twice as least, uh, twice as less expensive and as it was in the first store. And, you know, like, so we got that jacket and I'm, I'm so um, fascinated by the experience. I love the jacket, but the story is not about the clothing item. It's not about the jacket itself, but it's about how Heavenly Father provides. I, I agreed like, okay, it's okay. I can live without it, but he provided and he gave even better than that. He gave exactly what I like and twice less expensive. And I just smiled, you know, I think sometimes the Lord just looks, looks uh, with a smile, you know, and how I want something and he just provides, you know, like that is amazing. And really, 
the Lord provides. He provides. Sometimes I don't even have to pray about things that I want. The Lord just provides. Like now, um, to my memory, as I was thinking about this uh, testimony, it just came to me one time also a uh, fascinating testimony that I experienced uh, when for my 40th birthday, Angelica made a gift a trip to Jamaica. And it was like trip of a lifetime, you know. I'm from Lithuania. And after the car accident, I could not even think that I would be traveling and especially going on vacation on Caribbean island. Like I could not even dream about it. So for me, I was so excited like a, like a child, you know. And when I was making those reservations, of course, I asked about beach wheelchair because like, oh, I'm going to the beaches that have that white Caribbean sand and that beautiful water. And I, of course, I want it. Of course, I, wanted, uh, I want to, to be there on the beach. And so I asked like where, if they have wheelchair accessible beach and uh, they said, yes, th they do have access wheelchair access to the beach however they don't have a beach wheelchair which is necessary because normal uh normally wheelchair will not go on the sand especially on a beach sand like of white sand beaches uh so well you know they they don't have like okay what can you do right so I took it well, but I just switched my focus on, you know, the excitement that I'm going to Jamaica, you know, and uh, on the way to Jamaica, my manual wheelchair breaks down. And here I'm sitting, um, we had uh, transferred to another airplane and I'm sitting in that airport and I'm like, God, why, why on, on, on vacation now my wheelchair broke and how am I going to move in that gigantic uh, resort and right that moment a thought comes to me uh, go online search for the company in Jamaica that can you can rent the wheelchair so I do that I find the company and I found a wheelchair that would work for my needs and I could uh, easily transfer and then I saw oh they have beach, beach wheelchairs I got excited and I, then I look at that beach wheelchair and I see that ah oh, it's so gigantic like there's no way I could transfer I could get into that wheelchair plus it, it added also several hundred dollars even more to the rent it's like oh no it's just not doable so okay I canceled that uh, beach wheelchair I rented the electric wheelchair uh, to move around. While I was flying, I felt such pain. You know, normally after so many years after the car accident, I no longer had those thoughts. Ah, oh, I wish I had my legs. Ah, oh, why I don't have my, my legs. I no longer think in those terms. But that moment, I did. That moment, I felt such emotional pain that I don't have legs and I go into that beautiful spot of the globe in that Caribbean island and where I will have right there beach, sand, the beautiful water and I cannot get on it. And so I was really hurt by that. I did not talk to anybody and I did not pray about it I just swallowed that pain I knew the Lord knows I knew the Lord knows my heart and he knows what I'm going through and what can you do you know it is what it is sometimes you just have to accept the fact and just learn to live with it which that's what I did and have been doing for all these years so and I just then quickly switched my mind to the things that I am grateful for, that I'm going to Jamaica, that this is my triple of a lifetime. And uh, I was so grateful that my mom was right there with me. She traveled from Lithuania to California to spend vacation with me. I was so grateful for so many things in life. So I switched my focus from that pain 
to gratitude. And so we come to the resort, absolutely gorgeous resort. And so um, on the next day, uh, we go to the pool and we spend a couple hours there and uh, really enjoyed our time. And then after that, we thought, well, why don't we just go walk around the resort? And as we walk, uh, walk around that uh, pool, we see the lifeguards, you know, who, who stand there. And I, and I look at it and I cannot believe my own eyes. I see a beach wheelchair and I don't understand whether I'm dreaming or whether that's the reality. And I come up to the lifeguards and, and I ask them about this wheelchair, like, is, can, can we use it? Is it available? And these young men, uh, they, they, they look at the wheelchair and they say, well, you know, this is a new item. We have never had this wheelchair. And we don't even know how to use it because the resort ordered it just now and they delivered this wheelchair only yesterday, which was the day when we arrived to the resort. And they say the resort never had this wheelchair. We don't even know what it is and how to, how to use it. And, you know, that moment I felt father's love. I felt, even now I get emotional, you know. how loving our father is you don't need even to tell him oh even though the the lord says in his word right right to share his our heart with him but he knows our heart he knows every need he knows your intentions he knows your thoughts he knows your pain he knows it he's right there the question, are you close to him? Oh, and I, I just, you know, like and emotionally touched and right away said, of course, I want to try it because they asked, do you want to try it? I said, yes, of course. So that was so thrilling to be on that beach and and to look at that Caribbean Sea and what a glorious experience it is to experience Father's care. I did not talk to anybody. I did not even talk to him about it in my prayer. I did not ask him to arrange this. He did. He did because he knew, he saw. And even later, you know, in that, um, on that vacation, I always wanted to um, to see dolphins. I always wanted to, but the excursion to see the dolphins was, it was outrageous. Like there's no way we could uh, pay that money for that. So we just again, well, okay. But then uh, we started talking with um, the lady who was selling the excursions. And for some reason, somehow out of conversation, I felt led to inspire her, to inspire fight for her life, to inspire not to give up, to inspire reach for her goals and be unstoppable in your journey. I shared my story with her, how after losing both of my legs and my arm in Europe, in my country, I decided to fight for my life and how I was aiming and working hard for my goals and with God's help. Uh, my life got restored to the point that I live a fulfilling, happy life. And she was so inspired that she said, you know what? I want to make a gift. And that excursion that we asked about, a trip to, well, a trip to, to see dolphins, she just made a gift. She just gifted it to me. And so on the next day, my mom my friend and I, we went to see the dolphins and that was another dream come true. And see how the Lord provides. And you know the Bible verse, it says, the heart of the king is, is in the Lord's hand and he turns the heart like, uh, like a river, waters of river, whatever he wants. He has people's hearts. He has the circumstances in his, uh, in his authority. He knows your heart. He knows your intention. He knows your needs. And when you seek his kingdom, when you seek the Lord, he fulfills 
everything that you need and he fulfills your desires when you delight in the lord when you're not after your own selfish ambition and prideful goals that would make you look good and you could feel proud about yourself i'm not talking about that the lord fulfills the desires of the hearts of those who delight in him once you delight in the lord your desires will be very different and your goals will be very different and the lord will fulfill your desires god bless you and i want to encourage you to seek the lord to walk in his truth to walk in obedience before the lord you know once i began getting away from the world and living in obedience getting closer more and more and more to the lord my answers to the prayers well, i would say the answers to my prayers became like more and more often it's my it's my lifestyle if i need something i know that i can go into my room close my door talk to my heavenly father and he will arrange however he wills about my issue whatever i prayed about my life is filled with god's glory how he cares his provision and his providence when i came to america having absolutely no guarantees no security no safety only i knew only a couple of people and i came with no idea where i was going to live in my physical condition which is i don't have legs and i have only one right function arm i do not have a lot of money i did not even have the right to live and work in america but i believe that because the lord sends me the lord spoke to me through the holy scriptures when i inquired about what is my next step after my first trip to california to get my prosthetic legs the lord spoke to me through the scriptures that i should go back to california and he will bless me establishing my life and even though realistically it seemed outrageous the lord was faithful my part was to trust him and to make that step out of my comfort zone trusting that the lord will provide and that's how i came to america i stayed at the hotel because i didn't have where to live but the lord was faithful he provided everything he provided everything of course i have done and mistakes and was learning to trust him and learning what is his will or not his will and but the lord taught me as father teaches his child and then when i fell he picked me up you know the righteous man will fall seven times and the lord will pick him up again seven times right and all these all these i live already what 19 years in america i've never had lack in anything i never was homeless i never had lack of money uh, when the lord tested me it was tight but i never had the lack of anything that i wouldn't have what to eat what to what to wear that i would not have money to pay my rent or i would not have home i would not have a job never and even in 2008 when america had a uh, economical crisis i just kept hearing how people were losing money losing businesses losing cars and houses like this tornado was just sweeping everything out of its way it just came around me I never felt it at work where I worked we would even get the raises I never even felt that economical crash the Lord protected he provided all the time because he is faithful so I want to encourage you to trust him if you don't see the answer maybe that's not the time yet maybe that's the better 
thing for you because sometimes we want things that are not good for us but we just need to trust the lord that he knows he knows better as a father he protects us and he leads us to the good pastures as a good shepherd does right god bless you may you be encouraged i hope that my testimony encouraged you inspired you to trust him and to get closer to him the more the, the more you get closer to the lord the more you seek his kingdom the more you seek his will what the lord wants in your life what the lord wants you to do you will see that everything else whatever you need and whatever you desire the lord will fulfill because he's faithful to his word god bless you and i will see you again next time